Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today, designing for Bramble Fox, and it's National Scrapbooking Day. So um, I've set a challenge, and my challenge is to scrap lift this fabulous layout by Julie. Um, I loved it when she first posted it, and I wanted to scrap lift it, so um, perfect opportunity. I'm using the snapshot and the camera from the April Fox box. Um, the colours are fabulous, lovely, bright, boyish colours. And I'm using the Coco Vanilla No Limits collection again. Um, I've, I bought the whole collection so I need to make the most of it and I love doing boy layouts actually. It just makes a change because lots of my layouts are girly. So here we go. I've got, um, I've pulled out the little cards that come in this uh, collection and I just want to emulate what Julie did with the tags all behind her photos and I'm going to use these cards instead. I am going to put some tags in as well but um, I wanted to use these cards and I've just ripped one to go down the edge and I think about that one at the bottom which I don't use but I do put something down there. Okay so I've got the embellishment packs out, pack out and I'm going to put some of these black and white frames on which I really love. Um, I can use lots and lots of bits on here, die cuts, because um, if you saw Julie's original layout it's very layered, lots of different things going on so it's a perfect excuse to use up lots of bits and pieces. I've got a scallop punch here which I'm using on this paper to do my piece across the middle like Julie has and I think that, um, that that looks quite nice with the little scallop and I'm going to put some of this here, this orange and sort of, well just a couple of shades of orange across there for a bit of extra colour. Starting to build um, some clusters, a cluster down the bottom and think about what I want to put on. I often do this, I build a layout as I'm going and then um, and then stick it down and, and sometimes it changes so you, you'll notice that that is actually what happens here. It, things move around a little bit. I've got a little circle that goes there. I want to really build this up so I've got quite a few layers. Um, the tickets, Julie has some tickets going across hers. I haven't got the same type of tickets but I thought it's a perfect opportunity to put those in as I'm scrap lifting. Uh, that little, little piece there I try to put it at the bottom, I don't actually use that there either in the end but you can just see my process as I'm going through here. These are the 6x8 papers, um, I'm just looking to see what else I can put there with that strip across to add another layer. So I put a piece of yellow underneath the scallop and I think that makes the scallop stand out a little bit more as well, which I like. I've got this punch here, which is a stamping up punch I've had in forever. And I, what I'm doing, it's like a, it's almost like a tag punch and I'm just cutting it in half so that I've got some little tags there, half tags to go behind the photos. And I like that. And lots of stars in this collection because um, there's a real space theme to it. And um, although my layout isn't going to have a space theme, really, um, I do want to use the stars. I'm trying to use up as much as I can from this collection because sometimes I buy the whole collection, I love it, I make a couple of layouts and then it gets put away and I never make any more, which is just a bit of a waste really. So I'm being more um, firm with myself. <laughs> okay, so that's um, just another torn piece there. Oh, and you might see lots from Simple Stories coming up because um, I'm now on the Simple Stories design team, so I have lots and lots of Simple Stories to use too. So, uh, yeah, stand by for that. Okay, a bit more layering going on here. Um, I'm going to have to start thinking about sticking things soon because I've almost built an entire layout and I haven't stuck a single thing down. Um, I pulled out these. I've had these forever, like seriously forever, and I thought, when am I ever going to use these on a layout if I don't use them now? It's just perfect. So, um, so I've used those. Goodness only knows where they came from or how long I've actually had them, but they work brilliantly. So always look back at your old stash because I can't be the only one who has lots and lots of ribbons and threads and, and all sorts of strange things. So um, yeah, look back at your old stash. That's my takeaway from this uh, video, I think. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to make a couple of, well, now I'm going to make one tag now and I'm going to make another one in a 
bit actually but they're just doing the one for now and I'm going to put this tag underneath at the bottom so I'm just punching a hole with my crocodile and then I'm going to put some black thread in through it actually here I'm just sifting through I'm trying to figure out which colour thread I'm going to use but I do eventually settle on black okay so I'm just going to tie a bit around there and then I'm going to stick it down. I think I'm going to distress the edge and stick it down. But that obviously is going to come in a minute. Another little tag in there next to the photo. Just wanting to layer up and using as many layers as I can. Oh, well, I've got my glue gun out, so it must mean that I'm starting to think about sticking. <laughs> Here we go. We're distressing the edge of this tag and then I'm just going to stick that directly down to the page because I know it's going to go there and then I'm going to build off of that for my um, sticking session. So I'm going to stick those tags onto the little pocket life card there and then um, do that in a couple of places, stick things that are lower down and then start to stick the other pieces. See, it's all coming apart now, and this is this is where things can go wrong. Um, <laughs> but I do this all the time, so don't don't be too scared. My photos change position because um, the one on the right was lower than the one on the left, and actually in the final layer, it's the opposite way around. I wanted to keep that white card there so that the snapshot really pings out from the page because it's such a great colour, and I didn't want it to uh, to get lost on the darker colours. Okay, so I'm sticking this little cluster together and then down to the page. You've got to stick these things in a certain order, otherwise you're not getting it. And I a couple of times had to try and lift things back up a little bit. And um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. So that's starting to come together. I am thinking about exactly where I'm going to put these bubbles at the moment. I haven't decided, but... Um, they do move in a second. I know I want to have those tickets somewhere around there. So I'm going to put some foam onto the back of the photos and um, raise those off the page. Just because I want those to be the focal point, I want them to be front and centre on the layout and your eyes to be drawn to those. And those photos are actually of my best friend's little boy, Finley. Very cute. He's, he's much older than that now. <laughs> and probably would hate to be called cute, but um, but he was when he was little. <laughs> okay, so I settle on putting those uh, little bubbles there below the yellow, and I'm going to put the tickets there. I think about putting them um, lengthwise, like in Judy's layout, but it doesn't work with those tickets at all. So they're going to go like that. Sticking more tags down underneath. I'm going to put one underneath that picture and one underneath the other picture just to bring this yellow and turquoise blue, bluey green across the page. I'm just going to bend up the little edges of those tickets to give them a bit more dimension. That was an awkward place to stick on actually because the phone was already on there, but, um, but I made it work. Okay, so I'm going to stick the photos down and I'm going to use some tape and some glue because I really want them to stay stuck and sometimes one just tape doesn't do it, but the tape does grab immediately so it helps the glue to stick. I'm going to put some foam onto this sticker that says you're the best and put that underneath the top photo, which I think works. And then I'm gonna stick the perspective. My glue is Scotch Tacky Glue, and it works perfectly with these perspectives. And because it's got a fine line bottle, because I've put it in a fine line bottle, it's very easy to do delicate perspectives as well. So I can just put that on there quite easily. Gluing down my little bobbles. Really happy with those little bobbles. <laughs> Small things please me. I'm gonna stick this little cluster down now here, starting with the ripped piece of paper and the frame and the tags. 
that um, unlimited I wanted to use in a previous layout and couldn't make it work so I was pleased to use that because I really like it and I want to put that orange star there just to add a bit of the orange down to the bottom because it was looking a bit too blue and so I just put a little tiny little piece of foam on the back and then glue that one down as well My desk, I'm such a messy scrapper, look at my desk. I mean, seriously. Oh dear, some people you watch, their desk remains tidy throughout. Not me, not me. If you're looking for tidy scrapping, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so, um, yep, yeah, just taking some of the chipboard stars as well to add on to here for those extra layers. And they're just gonna go up there along with that blue star. I love everything in this kit, it just all looks fabulous. Another star there, I think we're nearly done. I think I'm going to make another tag in a second to go up at the top. Let me see, oh no, I'm going to stick down my smile camera first, um, which comes with the snapshot, it's the same colour, and that works there. Yep, here we go. I'm going to do this other tag. So I'm just literally going to do one that just sticks out the side there near the top. And um, yeah, that looks nice. Another piece of black thread in there and distress the edges. And have that sticking out there. Just glue on there, that's fine. I think we're getting close to the end. I'm just going to trim that piece of paper off at the bottom so that it looks neat and stick this little star down and we're done. Yep, there's the final layout. I hope you like it and I hope it's given you some inspiration for the challenge. Um, Julie's layout is gorgeous so it's, it's a beautiful one to scrap lift and I'm sure everyone will enjoy doing it. Have a look at my close-ups as well and uh, please do shout out if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. But good luck for the challenge and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Bye-bye.